We are going to take a two digit number and divide it by a one digit number representing the area model with square units. So like we said in, with the multiplication, we know when we're representing area, there can't be any gaps between our square units. So we have 18 here. Let's take the 18 and represent. So if 18 was our total area, three might be the length. So we're trying to find the width. So if I have three square units long, I need to figure out how many square units wide the area is. So I wanna make sure there's no space or no gaps between my square units. Okay, so I'm representing the area of a space with square units. So I see that since my, uh-oh, they're moving. I see that my length is three square units long. So that means my width has to be six square units wide if my total area is 18. Let's look at it. If we wanted the three to represent the width, what would our length be? So again, we have 18 square units. That's our total area. So three is the width. So now I'm going to build the next row so I can figure out what the length of the area is. Okay, so far we have four rows of three. All right, so I used up all 18 square units. There are three square units as the width. So that means there are six square units as the length. Because we know three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So 18 square units is covering this space. So the total area is 18, three is the width, and six would be the length. So we took a two digit number, divided it by a one digit number using concrete models with manipulatives to represent an area situation.